Marissa G. Franco, Platonic, How the Science of Attachment Can Help You Make and Keep Friends. In Platonic, How the Science of Attachment Can Help You Make and Keep Friends, Marissa G. Franco explores the power of friendships and how they affect our lives more than we realize. Through intriguing anecdotal and scientific evidence, this book summary delves into the various ways in which friends make our lives more fulfilling. From improving our well-being and empathy to equipping us with the tools to nurture lasting bonds. Learn how essential factors such as vulnerability, authenticity, communication, and generosity can become the foundation for building and maintaining lifelong friendships. Discover how to create meaningful connections and the essential role that affection plays in strengthening relationships. The Power of Friendship Harriet once believed that finding a spouse was the key to a fulfilling life until she lost her husband. As she mourned, she discovered that friends were the true source of happiness and meaning in her life. Research shows that having a big social network reduces mortality by 45% and increases happiness levels more than time spent with spouses or children. Friendship also teaches empathy and molds us into more well-rounded individuals. To build lasting relationships, we must focus on making and keeping quality connections. Building a social circle Have you recently started living in a new city and are struggling to make friends? Joining a group with regular meetups is the first step in building a social circle. Spending more time with people increases the likelihood of making connections with them. Dr. Erica J. Boothby found that people often underestimate how much others like them. Participating in group activities for at least three months and inviting your favorite person from the group to hang out one-on-one -on -one increases exposure and builds a deeper connection. Don't wait for others to come to you, take the lead and put yourself out there. Strengthening relationships through vulnerability. Making new friends is great, but maintaining and strengthening the relationship requires vulnerability. Being vulnerable means sharing the most fragile and humiliating pieces of yourself with others. Research has shown that people feel closer to those who show vulnerability. To introduce vulnerability into your relationships, you need to be the first one to show it. Don't wait for someone else to make the first move. It's particularly important in male friendships, as the Western ideal of masculinity discourages men from expressing what's perceived as weakness. Start small by sharing something a little more personal than you normally would. However, be selective about who you choose to be vulnerable with. Only trust people who have shown to be supportive and accepting of your vulnerabilities in the past. By being vulnerable, you will connect more deeply with others and strengthen your relationships. True friendship and being authentic. Authenticity is vital in developing and sustaining meaningful friendships. According to ancient Greeks and modern social scientists, authenticity means behaving in harmony with your innermost thoughts and emotions. While hiding our true feelings might seem like a defense mechanism to protect ourselves or the relationship, Revealing our true selves to friends helps us tap into our highest selves, leading to empathetic and considerate behavior. Researchers found that people who dropped defense mechanisms and showed their authentic selves became more favored socially, even making new friends. Therefore, being authentic is vital to building fulfilling friendships. Saving your friendships Resolving conflicts with friends is crucial for maintaining healthy relationships, yet it is often avoided. This is because expressing anger towards friends is difficult due to our belief that our feelings are not justified. However, not talking about conflict leads to feelings of resentment, hostility, depression, and anxiety. To save and deepen friendships, it is important to communicate calmly and effectively. The seven steps to follow involve calming emotions, giving your friend advance notice to prepare, explaining how their actions affected you, listening to their side, managing triggers, de-escalating defensiveness, and expressing your expectations for change. By following these steps, you can turn conflicts into opportunities to strengthen your friendships. The Power of Generosity in Building and Sustaining Friendships The act of generosity is an essential factor in strengthening and nurturing relationships, 
according to a poll conducted by the investing advice firm Motley Fool. Offering support and assistance draws people closer together, making existing relationships deeper and more meaningful. Generous people tend to have a more extensive social support system, wider circle of friends, and more profound connections. However, one must be selective and cautious with the people they give to and ensure it is mutual and not one-sided. The act of giving should stem from genuine love and affection and not the desire for reciprocation. In conclusion, the power of generosity is undeniable and should be made a significant aspect of building and sustaining friendships. The Power of Affection in Friendships Expressing affection in friendships is often avoided due to doubt, but it actually strengthens and deepens relationships in numerous ways. Research shows that showing affection to newfound friends fuels their interest in you, while affection expressed towards existing friendships contributes to a more fulfilling and tighter bond. Affection also proves to be useful during conflicts, as it makes disputes easier to resolve. It doesn't always entail physical touch and can be through something as simple as a warm greeting or extending praise. By expressing affection towards your friends, they feel safer and empowered, contributing to a more fruitful and authentic friendship. In conclusion, Platonic provides a deep understanding of the essential role that friendships play in our lives, how they shape us as individuals, and contribute to our well-being. Franco shares valuable insights on fostering authentic connections, embracing vulnerability, and harnessing the power of genuine communication. Learn to overcome any hesitations regarding affection and the steps to take for a well-rounded approach in resolving conflicts. Become a more generous friend and ultimately foster deeper, more fulfilling connections that stand the test of time. By exploring these facets of friendship, the book encourages readers to cultivate enriching and lasting bonds helping them lead more meaningful lives.